Okay, guys. Um, and ladies. I'm wanting to try to do a little experiment. Uh, to answer the age-old question. Do mushrooms, uh, morel mushrooms, pop up? Or do they grow out of the ground? I was always brought up, you know, taught that they pop up. But I've been doing a lot more research lately, and uh, boy, I'm just confused now. Um, so, do they pop up or do they grow? Or do they do both? Do they pop up and then grow a little bit? Um, I want to. Today, I believe, is April 12th. This is only the second one. I found another one just like it on the 9th. Um, and nothing else yet. <laughs> of course, it's, it is it is kind of early here in Missouri. I'm close to St. Louis. Um, I guess, being that there's probably going to be a lot more to come, I'm going to chance this one with the deer <laughs> uh, and all the other little animals that like morel mushrooms because we're not the only ones that like them so uh, I'm gonna leave this one and document the size um, some way or another uh, I'll let you look around here so you can see that uh, it's going to be in the same exact place, so it's going to be the same exact mushroom. Um, I don't know. I guess maybe I can stick a stick next to it and leave it there. I don't, I don't know. Uh, we'll see. Let's do this, too. I'll keep the same Bic lighter. Okay. Um, Bix, I guess you can buy the little ones, but I'm not going to do that. Look, you can see in my hand that it's not a little lighter. And next video that I make, I will use the same size lighter. And we will, uh, see if it's grown any. Get a good look at that. If I knew I was going to do this, I would have brought me a ruler or something, but uh, this will work just fine. Let's get a good look at that and see if it's going to grow. Um, it's pretty wet. I think it just came up last night. Uh, so, Or it got big enough to see over the last day or so because I've been coming back to this exact spot every day for the last two weeks. Because normally this is the spot that I find them real early. Um, I usually find them real super early. All the way down through here. You know. Uh, a week or two before I find the white ones. And that also leaves me to wonder. Do those turn into the big golden yellow uh, morels? Because I always find the gray ones in this area every year about a week or two before I find any of the white morels. So is, is it because these gray ones turn into the white morels? I come here, pick them before they get a chance to? I don't know. That's what I'm trying to figure out. So... I'm sure everybody out there has got their own answer, but this is just a little experiment that I think might be fun to do. Um, it might be fun to watch. So stay tuned. I will make another video. I'm going to go ahead and post this. I'm just going to do a part two, possibly a part three, because if I come back tomorrow, well, tomorrow's Monday, it'll be... I'm here in the morning now, but 
it'll be tomorrow afternoon and then I come back because I gotta come back after work but uh, <clears throat> if I come back tomorrow and it has grown a little bit then obviously I'm gonna leave it and uh, see another one and uh, there will probably be a third video but if it hasn't grown any by tomorrow around 4 35 o'clock then I'm gonna pick it because I don't know that I want to chance it for somebody else or deer or something like that to find because I think somebody has found my hunting spot because I got something to show you it's really rude inconsiderate and disrespectful I'll show you real quick I'm gonna take it with me when I go but they didn't only just throw it on the ground and leave their trash behind they decided they wanted to stick it in a tree how disrespectful and rude is that anyway I think somebody found my spot so I'm hoping nobody picks it hoping nobody comes back before I can get down here tomorrow after work so that's it Ooh wee I smell a skunk just recently sprayed too I smell it Ooh, real strong anyway good luck mushroom hunting y'all and uh, talk to you later